On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix these overcut flooring, whether it be laminate, luxury vinyl plank flooring, or engineered wood, and make it look presentable like what you see here. So stay tuned for the video. So maybe you're just moving into a brand new home and you see this exposed area around your door jam due, maybe due to bad installers or the old owner just wanted to change out their door jam to a much smaller one and you come across these gaps around there. In this case, this is a lot harder to fix because it is a continuous flooring. There's no transitions from room to room. If that was the case, if there was a transition, it would be a lot easier because we can just take out the tongue and groove and replace it with a brand new plank if you have the old planking that you can match it with. But in this case, we have no choice but to try to make it work with um, fixing it. All we're going to do is relieve all that excess tongue and groove if there's anything sticking in there. I'm going to be using this Titan pry bar that I like to use for my baseboard. And we're going to use and take out partially, I'll, um, just pry out that casing around the door. And we're just going to slightly just take out, we're not going to take out the whole thing. And we're just going to pry it open so we have enough room to work with so that we can slide a little bit of the pieces in there. In this case, we can't just shove in the piece right there because the door jam is so close to the floor, it's touching that there's no room to slide this, this quarter inch thick piece of vinyl plank flooring, just like what you see here, it just doesn't work. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have to cut this in little pieces and try to shove and piece together the missing pieces. In this case, I'm just using both of my Lyman's pliers and just snapping off a little piece, taking out the the piece that's uh underneath that flooring and i'm just gonna shove this one piece at a time in this case i'm gonna go and start off with the smaller piece first and i'm just gonna maneuver it with anything that you can use in this case i'm using my utility knife and i'm just positioning it to the place that i want now you can do this in any piece in any order there's no order but in this case, I'm using my 2P10 super glue. This is great for, um, this is what I use actually for my baseboards. And I'm just going to use this as a canvas tool, my 2x4 and some toothpicks and just dab a little bit on the edge right there because we don't want to oversaturate this with glue. It's going to look very ugly. And we're trying to make this look as best as we can without not too no noticeable that it was right there to begin with. Okay, so we're just going to dab a little bit between the cracks of the new piece and we're just going to do a little a surgical um, maneuver here. It's like we're doing operation and we're but we're using toothpicks and we're just going to let that glue set a little bit on that piece and dab off and take out any excess that you might see. Again, you don't want to oversaturate this with glue and you're going to leave this for around 30 seconds and it should be nice and dry and that should be good and sturdy. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to use little pieces of the same floor. If you have, if you happen to have the same flooring, this will be a great time for you to get some of the scrap pieces and cut off little sections at a time. In this case, I'm just going to relieve a little bit off this this vinyl plank flooring is actually padded so it's great for this pieces for filler so i'm going to be just you know randomly cutting different size strips of this vinyl plank flooring with my miter saw again you can go as many as you want uh, this this is just going to be a trial and error type that's why i recommend you cut different various sizes in this case i come with all these little tiny strips and I'm going to be using just a little portion of this so you don't want to go too crazy on too many items. Just enough for you to fill up the pieces that you need. So I have about a quarter inch and an eighth inch and I even have a, a half inch piece with me. So various pieces does matter so you can go you don't have to keep going back and forth and cutting the pieces. This one fit the fit the size that I want. So what I'm doing here now is I'm, this is not the initial piece that we're using. This is actually going to be a filler piece because underneath that door jam, there are voids. If you just put one piece in there, it's just a possibility that it'll just go sink back under there. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking um, these pieces and just maybe you'll need one, two, three, even four pieces to fill in those voids under there. But what I'm trying to do is um, strategically placing these on the back and sinking them all the way to the back so that they build all the way to the front. This took me about two, two fillers just so I can get the necessary amount that I need for that final filler to sit flush. I 
and I'm gonna be positioning it with my utility knife. So the final piece, I'm gonna be going through the, my, my pieces. It's probably one of the 1 8 inch thick piece. So this one, I'm gonna be using that 1 8 inch piece and just marking off how much I need. So I'm just gonna position it onto that area and I'm gonna cut and just trim along, test and fit. Cut and fit is the best way to do it. You're just gonna cut along measure it and then relieve us what you need i'm just gonna go and mark off what i need and i'm using my utility knife and my two by four block as a cutting table and it looks like i've got the right piece that i need and in the back of this flooring is actually a padding this is actually one of those uh, soft padding that came with the came and already built with the vinyl plank flooring that I have and I'm just going to strip those because those I will need so that I can lay that as the foundation piece for this piece to sit in and I'm going to be wrapping this into around three folds before I insert that piece in so once that piece in now we have something a padding for our new piece to sit on so it doesn't sink lower than the actual floor because if you do that your the, the little piece that you're going to be inserting is going to sink a lot lower and it's not going to look right so use that this to build up the height and once you get that i'm just using my flathead screwdriver to put that in there and then i'm going to insert my new piece right here so that easy really really it's just a trial and error type of deal and after i do that i'm just gonna go and you know take out that piece and i'm gonna glue it with my ca glue now it might take a little bit of trial and error at times you might have to take it back out shave off a little bit but in this case uh, it only took me about two tries to shave off just to make it fit the way i want it clean off around the area and then we're gonna again like what we did on the, our first our first session we i'm using this little canvas as my my ca glue and just i'm going to apply a little bit between the cracks there not too much if you go too much then you can actually just dab off the area with the, the toothpick like what i'm using here and i'm just going to apply between the little tiny cracks right there okay i'm going to do all all three sides and if there is any excess that i have what you can do is you can take your toothpick and then just dab it and take off that excess. Once that's done, you're just going to let it sit. You can actually push it a little bit further with your utility knife and then you can just let that dry. Now we're going to go to the next area. This one's a little easier because we can, after you pry, after actually I pried off that casing, that door casing right there, actually it's a lot bigger pieces and actually connects to the back of the baseboard and you'll see that shortly you see that it actually goes extends all the way to the back of the other wall so in this case i have a little l piece that i can use and it's a lot easier to work with because it's, ex it's exposed a lot easier than the other side so i just made a, this custom cut l piece or j piece whatever you want to call it but i made it so that it fits just like a jigsaw puzzle Right when you let it sit, you just, again, it's trial. I don't know what situation you might have. Yours might be a different shape. It's just kind of like fitting up a jigsaw puzzle. Cut, fit as you go. This one worked really well, and uh, this is ready for glue. So I'm going to use my 2P10. This is just to see glue. Again, all the tools that I use in this video, I'll leave it in the description down below. I'm going to apply it on one side where it's going to be touching the old vinyl plank flooring and on the forward end. That's what you see here. Just be very careful. In this case, this one, I actually touched the tip and it glued onto my thumb. But take your time. Make sure you don't get the glue all over the place and make it just, it all comes down to patience. It's all just a matter of cut to fit and patience. So this is what it looked like before. There's so many uh, open areas, gaps. It looks really ugly. But this is what it looks like now. And it looks a lot better. From up above, it, does, it doesn't it does look too noticeable. Because I, I, I hardly believe that someone who comes to visit your house will look straight into this area and point that out. But it does blend in a lot better than before. If you found this video helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, and I got more videos on vinyl plank flooring for you in the future. Thank you so much. I'll see you again on the next episode.